All right, Katie. Hi. Uncharted. Mm-hmm. Don't do this to me. You always do this. You always do this. <laughs> yes, Katie, this is short. So, as with the horror crack when Katie tried to guess the antagonists of, uh, mm-hmm. of horror films, Katie and doesn't... And Rocky. You did that with Rocky as well. And Rocky. Katie doesn't know video games. So, if you heard the name Uncharted, if you've heard of the name Uncharted, and it's got Tom Holland and Mark Wahlberg in it, what do you think it's about? Uncharted, it's, I feel like I've heard of that before. Have you played that before? Don't, yeah. Um, Uncharted, is it like... Um, I don't Should I just tell you? You don't want to, you don't want to say something. I just, no, when you say the word uncharted, it makes it feel like it's kind of like, a, like a, an explorer kind of thing. Yeah. Where you're like, you're going to so like... It's, so it's basically like National Treasure, but right. take out Nick, Ga- Nick Cage, put in Nolan North, and, well, it's it's a bit more epic. <laughs> I don't diss National Treasure. Oh, I'm not dissing National Treasure. <laughs> okay. You know, the only National Treasure in that film is Nicolas Cage, and he's not even English. Um... But, yeah, Uncharted's about a guy called Nathan Drake, who's uh, supposedly a long descendant of Sir Francis Drake, who was some great explorer. I can't remember the entire story, because it's a... Basically, it's a PlayStation exclusive about Nathan Drake, and he goes around fighting fighting these sort of bad guys, but he also explores to try and find lost treasures and whatnot. So he finds Shambhala. Oh, that's the second one. What else does he find? I don't know, paint myself as a good... I think he finds El Dorado. I think that's one of the ones that he finds. Okay. But it's really well voiced. The really, like, really, really good characters. I think Nathan Drake's like fourth on the best video game characters of all time list. So he's like he's really high up. A lot of people wanted them to make another game, but the way the fourth game ended was kind of like <clears throat> it was the right way to end it. Um, but okay. as most moviegoers will know, most video game movies don't turn out well. They're not very right. good, ever. Don't come at me, Sonic the Hedgehog fans, because it was terrible. Um, but yeah, they don't. They, they rarely ever turn out good. Mortal Kombat was okay, but uh, this one has Tom Holland in it and it has Mark Wahlberg in it. Tom Holland is playing the t- well, not titular, but he's playing the protagonist, Nathan Drake, and Mark Wahlberg is playing his. I guess you would call it mentor, Sully. Right. But we'll watch, okay. we'll react, and we'll see. Because this is the film, this is Tom Holland's film that's out after Spider Man, so we'll have the. Oh, good bloody grief. I wasn't expecting that to be that loud. There are places out there you can't find on any map. They're not gone, they're just lost. Sony. Sony's favourite person at the minute is Tom Holland, isn't it? Thank you. Yeah. A little young for a bartender, aren't you? A little old for prom, aren't you? Yeah. Nice. Everything in here. Why the map? This is the path that Ferdinand Magellan took to sail around the world. We know your history. It's the biggest treasure that's never been found. Five billion, easy. I think you're here because you're your brother. Well, you know my brother, Sam? Oh. Mentioning Sam. At least he's wearing the, the claws. That's generally the claws he wears. Who the hell is this? I'm a friend of Sully's. Sully doesn't have any friends. I should know I'm one of them. You are a collector. Well, I dabble. I don't dabble. My family has been looking for this fortune for a very long time. So much blood. Okay. Jeez. I'm pretty sure he's just trying to kill me. Don't touch your ear like that. You look like an idiot. <laughs> you have no idea who you partnered with. I've been dreaming about this stuff since I was a kid. My brother Sam left one final clue. Oh, God! oh that's very. That's very second gamey. Jesus. That wouldn't work in real life. But he just did that. Like, he doesn't have the course. He doesn't have the, the necessary string. Shouldn't have come out to play with a big boy's wing because you're about to get a proper Scottish welcome. What? 
Is he supposed to survive that fall? He does. Oh, the, the amount of stuff that Nathan Drake survives is actually worrying. Lesser men, well, ordinary men wouldn't be able to survive it, but Nathan Drake does. So, mm. ah, I don't know. That's. Mm, uh, I, I'm, I'm already worried about that. It feels like they're trying to squeeze three or even four games worth of game, which is equal to what? Like eight, 30, 40 hours of gameplay into one film. Oh, uh, right. Which is just. If you wanted to go all out on an Uncharted film. You would do like the first. You'd do the first one. You have to because you have to establish a good Nathan Drake. Because it, if you get Nathan Drake right, the movie will be all right. Mm -hmm. Because he's funny. He's not supposed to be like an impossible. He's not Neo. You know what I mean, he's, he's flawed yeah. and he's he, he makes mistakes and stuff. But I just don't understand what the appeal is to make movies out of games in the first place. Because oh, video ridiculous. games now are just their own movies. Works of art, aren't they? Yeah. Because the, the, they have like the whole story and they have like characters and like even like actors are like trying to get into them. Yeah, yeah. it's like I don't re understand what the appeal is, but so in the first game, I think it's El Dorado that he goes to find it in the first game. Right. So Francis Drake and the 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 necklace he wears is significant because it was the ring worn by Francis Drake. Uh, his brother Sam, who. At this point, he thinks he's dead in the first game. He thinks right. he's dead because they're both in a prison. Nate escapes, Sam doesn't. Because he gets shot and sort of falls off the wall. But he ends up coming back and he's alive. But at this point, if say this was to be the first film of match in the first game, he thinks Sam's dead. Also in the first game, Sully actually betrays him. But... He does it to try and stay alive. He doesn't do it because he doesn't like him. He, he does it j purely just to stay alive. Okay. So he, they don't particularly fall out with each other. Um, do -ba -do, -ba do Let's try and. Hearing about this stuff since I was a kid. My brother Sam left one final clue. So I think. Did he use the cross there to turn that thing? This this bit that we see here. That's straight out of the second game, when they're flying over a desert and he has a bit of a fight on a plane and he's, he's climbing up something like this to try and get back to the plane. But he does eventually survive. He does survive it because he gets, I think he gets a parachute, and he he, he survives. What, did he like get a parachute midair or something? Yeah, that'd be cool. But then, in the third game, he's involved in a major uh, train crash, and the train's like hanging off. A cliff, and he's climbing up the train. Well, he's also got a big piece of metal sticking in him, so you know, obviously, and he's okay. climbing up the train. And he, and he survives. Oh yeah, he survives. Of course, he survives. He's voiced by Nolan North, of course, he survives. But it's like I say, it's the thing that's so good about Nathan Drake is he almost reacts. He reacts to certain things as a normal person would. Like. When things don't go his way, he gets annoyed. When he's betrayed, he gets annoyed. When he makes big discoveries, he's over the moon, especially when it's con concerning Francis Drake. Uh, but he's sarcastic, and he's witty, and he's funny, and he's... Mm. But things like, I mean, when you see a bit, I don't know if it was... Um, there's a bit where you see him fighting two guys, and he does like a really cool sort of... You have no idea who you partnered with. She's a, a she's a character who... Further back. You are a collector. Well, I dabble. I don't dabble. My family has been looking for this fortune. The English lass is a character whose name I can't. Right, this bit. That's that's not really Nathan Drake. He's more of a he's more of a scrapper than he is sort of like a Spider Man, not never get hit kind of thing, you know what I mean? He's a scrapper. So, well yes, down dirty Yeah. Um, he does do like sort of ridiculous, especially in the fourth one. He gets like a grapple and a hook, and he throws it, and he swings and stuff. And that's a bit sort of, it's a bit too Indiana Jonesy for my taste. But yeah, when it comes down to the fight, and he's more of like a, like a scrapper. Uh, but you know that by that's just maybe in, you have to do some stuff original, don't you? Yeah. You have to try and. Um, 
I don't know about Tom Holland. He seems really young. I just think he just looks really young. Like I'll show yeah. you a picture of what Nathan Drake looks, looks like in the game. I mean, he looks young, but he's the same age as you, isn't he? Mm, I think he's younger than me. Which is damn depressing. So that's what he looks like normally mm. in the game. Uh, I mean, it's not a bad casting. Yeah, like I say, he does look like him, to be fair. He's, he's got the shirt and he's got the necklace and yeah. stuff. It's important. <laughs> oh, the necklace is very important. Um, I just don't know. I'm really worried that they try to... My two main worries are they try to squeeze too much into one film and because it's a video game film, can it break the, the sort of... Yeah. The, uh, you know, the, the video game movie curse. Mm. I think as well that must be hard for like someone like Tom Holland. Like, like if it's... A, like you said, if the character is like such a beloved character by video gamers, it's gonna be hard to get him right and not have people be overly critical of everything. Yeah. But he has also played Spider Man, so he, you know, it's not like he's not used to the pressure already. Yeah, true. Um, I hope it's good. I think it's... I'll watch it. I mean, I've, I've never played the game, so I have nothing to go off. So, it'd be different for me. It'd be a different experience for me than it would be. For you who's actually played the games. I've forgotten what the English lass is called. She had her own game. But I never played it because it wasn't Nathan Drake. Yeah, he's actually he's got like a, quite a sweet love story in it as well. I don't know, I don't know, I don't think they'll do it in this film because by the looks of it, they're just going all out on the action, you know, falling out of planes and such. Mm. Um, Look at that dude at the top of that banister there. He's just looking at him going, "What in the heck is he doing?" Yeah, he's probably had too much to drink and he's sitting there going. Was that real? <laughs> Did I just see a kid swinging on the long hanging light pole things? Seems like a bit of a design flaw to me. Putting those things there. Mm. Not, 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 whatever happened to good old chandeliers? You know what I mean? Um, but that was me and Katie reacting to the Uncharted trailer. Let us know down in the comments what you think. What do you think of Tom Holland as Nathan Drake? What do you think of Mark Wahlberg as Sully? He's not grey, he doesn't have a moustache. Those things are important. Um, do you think the film will break the movie video game curse? Yeah. Is there anything you're worried about? And what other video game films do you think could be made into a, into a film? Then like the video, subscribe, ding the bell, and I'll find when we upload. We upload every day. Anything else you want to say? Is there a game that you think they should make into a movie? Is there a game that you would like be desperate to see? Made into a movie? Yeah. I still hold my breath that one day they'll do an Elder Scrolls game. It's like, it's a just. Game? Yeah. Uh, film, sorry. Oh. Or even a series. It's just steeped. It's just lathered in uh, law. It's a bit like Star Wars. You could just pick any time and make a film about it. Oh, the Witcher wasn't bad. That was. Yeah, but that was a book first. Yeah. Well. Based the game off the book, and then the book. So I don't know which one the series is, but I think the series is based off the book more than the game. Yeah, but it's still, it's still. Yeah, it'd be still relatively close to it. Uh, yeah. Probably my my pick would be Elder Scrolls. It doesn't have to be Oblivion or um, Skyrim, but it could it could be. You could make loads of money out of that. The Elder Scrolls community will come out in droves to see. <laughs> um, yeah, is that it? Thank you for watching. I need to know.